Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, My Love Release. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the Mama family. Mama's got your back, at least where makeup's concerned and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Today is New Makeup Monday. We've got lots of drugstore goodness to go over. Before we get started, a special welcome to any newcomers to my channel. I am so incredibly happy to have, your he to have you here. <laughs> if you are new and you enjoy the content, I really hope that you will give this video a big old thumbs up. I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that you will uh, ring my bell, turn on your notifications. Uh, so that way next time I upload, you can come right back here and we can hang out together again. Also, my makeup is done already. I am so in love with the way that my makeup turned out today. It is so, it's like graphic and edgy and cool and chic and just, oh, I love it so, so much. Uh, I used a super, super dirt cheap palette to do it. This is the Revolution Pro Regeneration Trends Mischief Maker Palette. It's horrible. Uh, I mean, it's not absolutely awful, but it's not very good either. Uh, I got this dirt cheap. I want to say at least a couple of years ago. It's been in my collection for forever. Uh, I think I paid like three bucks for this. I do think it's worth three dollars, but not too awful much more than that. Uh, I don't think the palette matters so much. You can use whatever palette that you your little heart desires. But I did do a TikTok on today's eye look if you are interested. I'll make sure to have the link for that as well as all of my other socials, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff in this link in the description box below, uh, along with a list of all of the products that we're going to be talking about in today's video. And of course, if you have any questions about what I used or how I used it, all you have to do is leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Moving right along, this, oh, okay, so this is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm. So I'm on a no-buy right now. I've been on a no-buy for the entire month of July, thinking about extending it into the beginning portion of next month as well. I've really been enjoying dig digging through my collection, uh, exploring and rediscovering products that I already own, just really appreciating my collection for what it is already. Uh, and I came across this, and I did not even know that I had this. It was shoved way back in the corner somewhere, and I'm so incredibly happy that I found it because it is so, so good. Uh, this is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Nectar. It is truly just, it is delicious. You want to talk about the most gorgeous, peachy, apricot -y, just summer, youthful, glowy, gorgeous goddess. Oh, it is just so, so good. I love the packaging. Standard squeezy tube, so nothing special there. But uh, I do like the applicator. Uh, I like that the little kind of tube up here is see-through. Very, very satisfying, especially when you first open it. Just kind of squeeze it up for the first time. You get to watch it fill. Super fun. Uh, I do think the plastic is uh, it's heavy, it's thick, it feels a little bit more expensive, uh, and it better because this blush goes for $11.49, so almost $12.00 little bit expensive especially for a drugstore blush but when it comes to flower beauty blushes I really just enjoy all of them I love the gel crush blushes they're fantastic I love the flower pot blushes they're uh, phenomenal as well this though this might be my favorite so far uh, and specifically this color is just everything uh, so that's what it looks like let's blend it out just a little bit so the actual formulation of this is super lightweight. Uh, it's almost more of like a like a gel cream, very lightweight, very watery. It just kind of melts into the skin almost instantly. It does dry down fully. It doesn't stay sticky or tacky on the skin in any way. Uh, it is beautifully buildable as well. Uh, I find that this applies beautifully with a finger, with a brush, and with a sponge. My favorite method of application is a brush. I just like to kind of sipple it on there. Blends out effortlessly. It's never streaky. It's never uh, like splotchy or spotty. And it just goes on. It does everything you want a good uh, gel cream blush to do. It's phenomenal. I really enjoy it. Doesn't mess with products underneath it either. Just super easy, easy product to use. Uh, liquid gel blushes can sometimes be just a little bit finicky. They do like to kind of disturb the products underneath them. This, I didn't have that problem at all. Super, super beautiful, beautiful product. But if you're looking for something similar, but not quite as expensive, I had to talk about this one right here. Uh, so this is probably one of my very favorite uh, gel cream blush formulas 
of all time. This is the LA Colors Cream Gel Blush. This is in the shade Hypnotized. You want to talk, it's $1.25. I picked these up at Dollar Tree. You want to talk about the most beautiful, gorgeous, stunning gel cream kind of blush. It is just absolutely everything. Uh, the thing that I like the most about this is that it is, it's just, again, easy to use. Uh, so that is the color. They're very, very similar. This one I think is just a little bit deeper, but y'all, it's even more pigmented than the Flower Beauty blush but it shears out beautifully. Again, it's got that same kind of texture. I mean, the shades are almost identical, literally identical. It's phenomenal. They are legitimate dupes for each other. One is $12 and one is $1.25. So, or one, well, one's $11.50 and one's $1.25. I don't think that you can beat that at all. I do think both are phenomenal. Uh, I love this one. The packaging definitely is better on this one, but for $1.25, Lord have mercy. I just don't think that you can go wrong. These come in a couple of different colors as well, and they're at the Dollar Tree. They're at the Dollar Tree. They're so, so good. Uh, they both dry down uh, almost instantly. They give you a good amount of time to like blend them out, play with them but they dry down uh, 100%. They don't stay sticky. They don't stay tacky. Uh, they have a good amount of wear time on them. They're both beautifully buildable as well. Yeah, these are just really, really fantastic products. So the Flower Blush Balm, 1149 LA Colors Cream Gel Blush, $1.25. Winner winners. I, think, I don't think you could go wrong with either one of these. They're both phenomenal. Okay, so a new mascara that I've been playing with recently is this one. This is the Maybelline New York Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. This is the mascara that I've been wearing probably for the last, I want to say, uh, month, month and a half. This is so nice. Maybelline makes my very favorite mascaras of all time. I've never, well, I don't want to say I've never, but nine times out of 10, I try a new Maybelline mascara and I'm impressed. Uh, this one is a little bit different to ones that I usually prefer. I usually prefer a little bit more of a uh, wetter kind of formula. I prefer length uh, over volume. I like to have those real long kind of spidery lashes. This one gives you so much volume. It does give you length as well, and it also curls your lashes. So I think what's so special about this is the brush head. So it's got this kind of like hourglass shaped, like I'm checking to see if my nails are dirty. They're not. It's got this hourglass shaped applicator. Just makes it really easy to kind of comb through things. Uh, it's got a nice stiff brush head on it as well. I can't stand when the mascara wand is like super floppy and bendy. Really just kind of like how are you how am I supposed to comb through my eyelashes when it won't stay it won't stay put. This is, this is fantastic. I like it so much. Uh, I like the kind of ball end on the top of the applicator. Makes it really easy to get to those inner corner lashes and really kind of lift up the outer corner ones as well. Uh, it does hold a curl beautifully throughout the day. Uh, I've been wearing this, like I said, uh, all over a month at this point. It doesn't flake. It doesn't crumble on me. It doesn't smear on me or like transfer either. It just looks so, so pretty. Looks so good on my lashes. I am very very into it like I said it does have a little bit of a uh, drier formula but that's kind of a good thing because the brush is just a little bit bigger uh, so it's not quite so messy I find that especially with the wetter formulas that I like uh, it is very easy to kind of get mascara all over the lid uh, but with this because it's a drier formula I was a little bit worried at first because the applicator the actual brush head is quite a bit bigger than some of the ones that I prefer but because it's a drier formula, it just doesn't do that. It's super easy to work with. And one or two coats and you were just like good to go. It just looks so pretty on the lashes. This goes for $11.99 at Ulta. I do think it's fantastic. Really, really great mascara. I love the packaging as well. It's silver and purple. Super, super nice. Uh, I will say the longer this is open, the more I like it. Uh, for some reason, when I first opened it, it almost seemed too dry. Uh, and you know, usually a mascara will dry out over time. Somehow this has got even creamier. I'm not even sure, but I like it better now than when I first opened it. It just goes on, like I said, two coats and I am good to go. Super quick. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't flake. It is such a nice, nice mascara. Not like my favorite of all time, but a really, really nice mascara nonetheless. Uh, oh, so NYX came out with some new eyeshadow palettes. And they're not new uh, because I do think that they have 
that they had palettes that were very similar to this, but they're new in the sense that the formulation is new. So they reformulated their eyeshadow palettes. I enjoyed the formula before this one. Uh, I thought they were nice. It wasn't anything super special. wasn't my favorite, uh, but I do enjoy this one, this new formulation, a lot better. Uh, I also prefer the new packaging as well. So the older palettes were a little bit thicker. They were a little bit chunkier. They looked cheaper in my opinion. These ones are very, very nice. This is the ultimate. I know, I know that's bright. This one is such a pretty, pretty palette. Guys, these are stupidly overpriced though. At $20 a piece, you, there are so many other brands and uh, that you could get so much better eyeshadows from. Uh, I picked these up because NYX is one of those staple brands for me. There's very, very little that that brand can do wrong in my eyes. I just wish that their, I wish that their price tags would ref would reflect where they're sold a little bit more. NYX is one of those brands who's just trying to be so bougie. It's like they're they're uh, trying to bite the hand that feeds them. Like, I don't want to go, it's like Milani with their $20 eyeshadow palettes. And you know, I can understand the $20 Milani eyeshadow palettes because the packaging is a lot nicer, right? You get good cardboard packaging. It feels like it's like a real kind of like eyeshadow palette. But when you give us this cheapy kind of plastic packaging and charge us $20 a pop for it, it's just a little bit annoying. Uh, the price point aside, I do think that these are fantastic. I used these the other day and did a super fun, bright kind of eyeshadow look. I love the color story on this. No, with no other brand at the drugstore right now besides Profusion, which is one of my all-time faves. Super affordable as well. But there are only maybe like two or three at the most drugstore brands that are really going to give you this kind of color, uh, especially at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, places like that. Uh, Ulta is a little bit of a different story. But at Walmart, like, you're, this is just unheard of, right? The only other brand you're going to get this from is Profusion. And uh, they're just good. It's just good. Uh, the mattes in here are absolutely stellar. The shimmers were really, really nice. Uh, again, just, I mean, look how pigmented they are. You can definitely tell that they put effort and thought and time into this new reformulation. Now, the mattes don't swatch very well, but they do go onto the eyes beautifully. Uh, I do think the shimmers are what sings in these palettes. Uh, they're super metallic and uh, reflective. They're not glittery. They're just straight up metallics, which I appreciate. I think they're super, super pretty. Uh, and I just love the color story on this as well super fun and bright uh just just a really really good time uh so yeah if you have been eyeing these i do think that these are spectacular uh, i also picked up the ultimate warm neutrals palette uh, i again have the old version of this one as well and i as much as i love the old version this one is just oh it's just so so good uh, I love, like I said, I love the shimmers in here, but it seems to me like these mattes are better than the mattes in the bright palette. Uh, these ones just seemed, the mattes in the neutral palette just seemed so buttery and just super easy to blend out. Uh, it was, um, they're almost got a creaminess to them. Super freaking easy to work with. I was very, I enjoyed very much playing with this. Usually neutral palettes really don't light my fire but this one surprised me in all of the best ways. Uh, I was able to make a really beautiful, beautiful eye look with this palette. I actually used both of these together. Uh, guys, oh, I just, and the embossings on the pans are so cute as well. There's little flowers and paw prints. It's just adorable. I love, this is a neutral, neutrals palette. Uh, you do have some tones that leave, lean a little bit cooler. You have some tones that lean just a little bit warmer. But as a whole, it is a very neutral palette, and I super appreciate that. A lot of the nudes at the drugstore, uh, most of them lean quite a bit on the warmer side of things. And as much as I love a good warm kind of color story, and this is called Warm Neutrals, but it just seems so much more neutral to me. You do have some warmer tones, but everything else, like all of the transition shades in here, everything is just so neutral. And because of that, it is going to be so incredibly universal and so versatile. It's going to work on so many different skin tones. This is just going to be one of those palettes that's going to look good on absolutely everybody. I really, really enjoy these. These are good. Uh, like I said, the packaging is really so much better than the older ones as well. Uh, as much as it is still kind of like plastic packaging, it is uh, compared to like Wet n Wild or even Profusion packaging. Because Profusion packaging is just 
awful. It is so, so awful. You can tell that this is definitely higher quality. The plastic is thicker. It feels uh, like it's heavier. It feels well made. Like, especially for a plastic packaged uh, kind of eyeshadow palette, it still does feel luxe in a way. Well, luxe for the drugstore anyway. Uh, so as upset as I am about a drugstore palette being $20, I don't think that you'd be upset if you purchased these at all, especially if you're in a pinch or if you, you know, if you don't want to bother like ordering online or going to Ulta. I do think that if you walked into Walmart and put these in your basket, I think you would be very, very happy about them. They're both fantastic. The one that I really wanted to get my hands on was the blue jean. Uh, it's the blue palette and it wasn't available at my Walmart. So I was really, really sad about that. Uh, but yeah, these are both absolutely stellar. 20 bucks a piece, but so, so good love them very much. While we are on the brand NYX, I picked up these ones, I want to say a couple of months ago. They had just recently come to my, I think right before I started my no buy, they had just recently come to my Walmart and uh, they didn't have my shade. When it comes to NYX complexion products, it doesn't seem to me like they do cool tones very well. And I am very much a pink lady. I am pink, 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 uh, cool undertone all day long. And a lot of the NYX complexion products lean very, very yellow, uh, in my opinion, very golden, very yellow. Uh, so I had to pick up two different shades uh, and these are not cheap either. The NYX uh, the next Bear With Me Blur Foundation, they're 14 freaking dollars a piece. So I had to pick up two different ones of these because I couldn't find my shade. This one is way too light for me and this one is definitely too deep for me. So I did have to mix both of these uh, together to get my kind of semi-perfect match today. All in all, I do think it went on and it looked really pretty. It is definitely a little bit yellow for me. Uh, so if you are pink toned, maybe rethink that a little bit. But what do I think about the actual formulations? So this is what does it say this is a it's supposed to be a matte blurred finish medium coverage uh blurring tint foundation so i heard a lot of mixed reviews on this foundation some people absolutely loved it some people just really couldn't handle like they just hated it so much uh i'm a little bit on the fence because i i have this on my face today I've been wearing my makeup for, I want to say, at least five hours at this point. I'm not sure what time it is, but I've had my makeup on for a good long while. And I have to say that my base looks almost immaculate. It looks stunning. I like this so much after it's been worn for a little bit. When I first put it on, it looked a little bit cracky. It looked a little bit heavy. It looked a little bit dry and powdery was not my favorite finish. Uh, but the more you wear it and the more that your natural oils kind of come into play, uh, especially this is a great summertime kind of foundation for me, just because once, once my natural oils come out to play, it just makes everything kind of like sink into the skin and just like become one. And it ends up looking so, so pretty. Give you guys a close up. You guys know I never use any filters or anything like that uh, on my videos. I think my skin looks fabulous. Uh, again, I have super, super dry skin. If you guys didn't know, I am a dried up dusty old mummy. Uh, and the fact that this was a soft matte, what did it say? It is a matte blurred finish. The fact that this was a matte foundation was a little bit scary for me. I did make sure I went in with a heavy dose of moisturizer beforehand. I really made sure that I went in with my skin prep, made sure that I was like, I was drenched. My skin was absolutely drenched. Uh, and even then it still looked dry upon initial application. Now I did apply this with a damp beauty blender. I think if you have dry skin, applying with this with a brush is going to be like a no-go. You need the added moisture that the beauty blender provides in order to get it to even look halfway decent uh, on your skin but I have to say the longer that I wear this the more I really really like it it looks so pretty it's not collecting in any of my smile lines it's not collecting in my forehead lines and they're pretty deep I think my base looks phenomenal uh, my under eyes are starting to look just a little bit dry but for the most part I think every everything looks really really beautiful this was nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like again is that it's, I mean, even at $14, that's still pretty much on par with just about everything else at the drugstore right now. Uh, Maybelline foundations, Revlon foundations, L'Oreal foundations, like $14, I think is pretty standard. How much product do you get in here though? You get one full fluid ounce, well, 1.01 .01 fluid ounces. So standard amount of product in here. 
I think $14 is a pretty fair price. Uh, it has really great coverage. I would say it's got a solid medium coverage. Of, it is indeed a very matte foundation. But if you give it just a little bit of time, make sure you really hydrate your skin first. I do think, I mean, if you were like dry like the desert, super, super dusty dry, and you're going through a dry patch, and you have like dry patches uh, and like flaky skin on your face, you need to stay away from this. You need to stay far, far away from this because it will cling. I do have a couple of dry patches on my nose. My nose is where I get the worst, and I don't know if you can see that, but it is clinging to my dry patches on the side of my nose, and it doesn't look like fantastic, but everywhere else, it just looks so, so pretty, and the longer I wear it, the more kind of luminous and glowy and glossy it gets, because my oils, it's hot in here today, uh, so I am just a little bit, I'm, I'm like overheated just a little bit. It looks so, so pretty. Uh, I definitely do not think this is going to be a winter foundation for me in any way, shape, or form. It's going to, uh, I'm going to look like I need an IV stat if I tried to wear this during the winter. But as a summer foundation, I do think this is really, really nice. I wish that they would work more on the, uh, on the undertones though, because I could not find a pink undertone for anything. It was absolutely awful. Okay, so Lottie London. Lottie London came out with a couple of things. Lottie London is one of those brands that I just really adore. I adore Lottie London. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of their products, for me anyway, can be very hit or miss. Uh, I love some things and I just can't stand others, but their primers as a whole, I really just am so in love with. Their Coconut Setting Mist is one of my favorite setting mists of all time beautifully hydrating really like brings life back to the skin melts powder into the uh, into the base beautifully love it so so much the illuminating coconut primer is really fantastic as well uh, it gives you just a little bit of a gloss to the skin uh, and it's hydrating feels wonderful like a, a really beautiful thick rich kind of moisturizer i love that so so much uh but then i i saw this one this is the lottie london bubble tea primer and y'all good gravy. This is so, so nice. Uh, this kind of reminds me of a, a mixture between, I'm not even sure. I, it just feels, it feels like a really beautiful kind of watery gel cream. Let me show you. So first of all, the packaging is absolutely adorable. It's got all these super cute little pink uh, like bubbles in there. I love boba tea anyway, but this is just cute. Uh, I love the, the aesthetic of this, the pink and the white, super, super pretty, perfect for summer. Uh, once you kind of dispense it, really cute pump applicator packaging, super nice, like 10 out of 10. I love the squeezy tube packaging. The pump on here is actually really nice. It feels nice and solid. It doesn't feel cheap or dinky in any way. So this is what it looks like once it's been dispensed onto the skin has an absolutely wonderful watermelon scent to it, which I absolutely adore. Not super overpowering or heavy in any way, but just a light, fresh kind of uh, fruity watermelon scent there and then gone, uh, but really, really beautiful, like a nice little hit to the nostrils. I enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, it just comes out and it's just kind of this swirled pinky kind of thing, but y'all, it just feels so hydrating uh, and it look, goes onto the skin and it leaves the skin really beautifully glowy. Uh, it also leaves just a tiny bit of a stick and tack onto the skin as well. It really does just feel like a tall glass of water. Uh, it's got a very thin like melty kind of texture so it just kind of sinks into the skin instantly and leaves just a little bit of a glow behind. I really really enjoy this very very much. And the smell is just super, super nice. That super light uh, watermelon scent is very apropos for summer. I enjoy this very, very much. Uh, at nine dollars and ninety-eight cents, you can only you can get this at Walmart. It's the only place that I've found it for ten bucks. I think that's pretty standard price for a primer. You get a good amount of product in here as well. I think you get a full fluid ounce of, of product in here. I think I'm not sure. Anyway, you get a good amount of product in here. It smells nice. It feels lovely. Uh, I do think for dry skin, you're going to absolutely love this. It's going to do nothing but good things for your skin. Uh, I do think that even for oily skin, it would be wonderful because it does leave a little bit of that tackiness uh, behind on the skin. It is perfect for underneath makeup. Uh, I again wore this primer today and I think that it looks beautiful, uh, especially underneath this more mattifying kind of primer or foundation. I think the two worked really beautifully together. I'm very, very happy with the way that my base looks today.
And then they came out with these. So these are the Cheeky Glow Liquid Highlighting Wands. And you know, everybody and their mama is coming out with a highlighting wand, a contour wand. I'm really excited for uh, Lottie London to release a contour wand. I feel like they might be really good at that. Uh, Cause I feel like I like the Lottie London undertones of things, things like that. Uh, but I picked up two of these shades. I think there's four. I think there is a much deeper golden shade and then more of like a peachy orange shade. I picked up the shades Oh, I'm so blind. Uh, Rosé Bubbles. And then I also picked up Champagne Drip. Now, Champagne Drip. Okay, before we even get into the actual product, the packaging on these is awful. It is really, really bad. I don't like it at all. Uh, so I've only had these, I want to say, a little bit over a month, maybe a month and a half at this point. And they're supposed to be a little kind of like uh, like a, a fluffy tip. Uh, you know the ones that look like, you know, from the Maybelline age rewind it's got sp that sponge tip uh on the applicator or whatever guys i want to put this on my face probably after i'd had it for maybe a week and a half two weeks and i was blending it out and there were all kinds of fuzzies on my face and i was like what is going on i took a closer look and then i looked down at the packaging i looked down at the product and i was and i realized that the actual spun sponge tip thing uh the material that it was made of made of was like fraying and like like it was just not good. It was not good. Uh, so I ended up with all kinds of fuzzies uh, on my face and it just was not cute. So I ended up having to take a pair of tweezers and peel in that sponge tip fuzzy material off. And honestly, I like this so much more without that fuzzy applicator tip on it. Uh, it on top of that, it was, it made it really hard to dispense the product for some reason the product didn't move through the cloth like with this I don't think the product has any trouble moving through the material of the sponge but when it came to these the product was almost too thick to go through the material so it would bubble up and then it would come out the sides and it just got really messy and gross I did not like it at all but after I removed that these just are so much easier to work with uh, you just squeeze the tiniest bit of it it comes out I'm trying to not squeeze too much of it out did I close it? I closed it. Yeah, there we go. So it just comes right out of the hole. Super easy to work with. Uh, these are beautiful. They're super, super pretty. Again, this was the golden shade. That's what it looks like. Very, very golden. Almost, like slightly almost too deep for my skin tone. I think that this shade would be perfect for uh, kind of like light, medium, medium skin tones. Really, really pretty color. Uh, they do blend out beautifully. They dry down completely and totally. They do dry down very quickly as well. There is a little bit of glitter to these babies though. Uh, so if you're not, are not into a glittery highlight, these are not going to be for you. But if you don't mind a little bit of that, the, and the glitters are feeny, feeny, feeny. They're little teeny, tiny little micro glitters. So it's not big, chunky cra craft glitter at all. It's just a really beautiful kind of like, it gives it very much dimension and movement on the face. I think it's really pretty. I'm not a big fan of glitter in my highlights, but when it is super tiny like this and just kind of adds to the overall glow, uh, I do think it is very, very pretty. Yeah, so uh, they're not my favorite, not my favorite liquid highlight of all time, but I do think it is a good one. I definitely prefer the, what was it, the rose bubbles? I definitely prefer this one to the golden one though. Uh, I do think that the pink one is a little bit more glittery than the golden one is, uh, but still very pretty nonetheless. Uh, so that's what it looks like. It's got a very light kind of slight pink tint to it. I do think yeah, so I very much prefer the pink one. I prefer a pink highlight anyway, just because I'm a very cool toned lady. Uh, but I do think the pink one is beautiful. They are a little bit more on the subtle side. Uh, so if you are looking for something like boom in your face, like you can see me from the heavens kind of highlight, this is not going to be for you. But if you like something that is a little bit sparkly and a little bit subtle, uh, I do think these are really nice. These go for $9.95. I think that's a pretty fair price uh, for what you're getting. All in all, it's a nice product. Not a big fan of the packaging. The squeezy tube, I love. I love that there is a lock mechanism, so you don't have to worry about like the Milani contours, the Milani liquid contours. They don't have a locking mechanism. Uh, and when you try to shut them, to just kind of squeeze all over and make a big giant mess. I cannot stand that. So I really appreciate that these ones you can turn on and off, uh, lock them down so you don't have to, you could travel with these and not have to worry about them squeezing out everywhere. 
I think that's really nice. Uh, but just overall, the the actual product inside. Uh, I prefer the pink one, but mm, I could take it or leave it. Not my favorite, not, you know, not the worst, but not the best I've ever tried uh, or played with. Was that all I wanted to talk about? I have one more thing. So y'all, L'Oreal, L'Oreal has just got this thing where they just kind of like hold out their hand and I just give them my money. I don't know what it is about L'Oreal, but I just, oh, they're one of my very favorite and they're bougie. <laughs> they're so expensive. These are the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Blushes. These are pretty new to the market. They finally last month came to my Walmart and I scooped up three shades. Uh, I scooped up Legendary Berry. I scooped up Confident Pink and then I scooped up, uh, coral so i got the the coral one the pink one and the berry one all three of them are freaking stellar absolutely fantastic these things are stupid expensive though they go anywhere from $16 to $12.99 uh they are $16 originally they're on sale right now at ulta for $12.99 so if you've been interested and wanted to pick them up but didn't want to really spend the 16 bucks uh they're on sale right now so maybe go for it I think they're all three beautiful. Uh, I am able to wear all three shades. They are pigmented. They are pigmented. They these these did not come to play. These came to say I am here and I am proud. But good Lord Almighty, they're so freaking pretty. I just oh. So this is the shade confident pink. Uh, then we have the shade the coral shade. This is fearless coral. Uh, this one is a really beautiful beautiful coral shade. And then we have the legendary berry shade. Uh, I think. Uh, quite surprisingly, I really, really love this uh, legendary berry shade. It is so pretty. I love how purple the berry is. Uh, oftentimes, you get a berry, uh, like a berry blush, and it ends up be, be ooh, ooh, trying to cramp up. It ends up trying to be like very red or very maroon or like burgundy. Oh, check my bat wings. But this one just pulls so beautifully purple on the skin. And it pur pulls purple without being like super cool toned and gray. And it pulls purple without being like overly pink. It is just a really beautiful, like true purple toned, cool toned berry. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, I know quite surprisingly, the berry tone is actually my favorite out of the three. I've worn it so many times since I purchased it. Uh, I think they're fabulous. They are, I mean, it's got the same kind of texture as the infallible bronzers. Uh, this is my, uh, 24 hour fresh wear infallible bronzer. This is just in the shade light. It's got that same really beautiful velvety, almost buttery creaminess to it, uh, that makes them just go on so effortlessly. They just go on, they blend like a dream. They're beautifully pigmented. Uh, I do think that if you are a little bit heavy handed with your brush, uh, and like to kind of really dig into your blush pan, Baby, don't do that because you're going to end up looking like a clown. I did that the first time because I like to use a pretty dense brush to apply my blush. I like to really tap in there because I like a very blush, uh, blush heavy kind of look. Uh, and I did that the first time with these and I, I put way too much blush on. Uh, because it is such a velvety, smooth, soft kind of powder, they are packed in there pretty uh, lightly as well. So you are going to get a good amount of product. You're going to get a good amount of powder, even just lightly tapping into the pan. So a very gentle tap with a fluffy kind of blush brush like this one, I would say is going to be perfect. Uh, it's what I've been using with these ones. Just something very light and fluffy. Just gently tap into the pan. You're going to get all the pigmentation that you need. But y'all, at $16, I do think it is incredibly expensive. L'Oreal is a pretty expensive brand in general. Uh, it seems like all the, all, the, all, all the brands are expensive. And they're just going to continue to get more and more expensive until we all just absolutely pass away from inflation. Anyway, they're really good though. I do think that they're worth the money. Uh, I think that there are many wonderful, beautiful, fantastic blush formulas available for much, much lower prices. Do I think that any of them truly compare? Uh, or I, I just think that it's a pretty, it's a, it is a pretty incomparable formula, specifically at the drugstore. I don't have another blush formula in my collection that feels quite as smooth, quite as velvety, quite as buttery as these do. Uh, on top of that, because they're so pigmented, you know, they, they can be scary to work with. 
uh, and they are beautifully pigmented but because it's such a finely milled soft velvety powder even if you do go overboard uh, it's super easy to just kind of blend it away because they just have such great mobility mobility on the skin it's just really hard to go wrong with these I think all three shades I think there's is there four shades I think there was one even deeper shade than legendary berry uh, it was too deep for me so I didn't I was not going to spend the $16 on it uh, but I do think they're I think they're worth every penny I think they're really good specifically especially if you can get these on sale for $12.99 $12.79 I'm sorry for $12.79 I think they're worth every penny of that uh $12.79 is pretty standard for a any kind of blush formula at the drugstore right now I think uh even some of like the of like Milani blushes, things like that. They're at least 10 bucks. Uh, so I think 12, 13 bucks for this is really fantastic. And again, it's just a really, like it's a singular, very special, very unique kind of blush formula, specifically at the drugstore. I just think it's, it's phenomenal. It's fantastic. Guys, with that, that is the end of today's video. This week's New Makeup Monday was so full of some really spectacular products. Uh, I think my favorite out of the entire thing uh, is definitely going to be the blushes. I think the blushes are phenomenal. Both the L'Oreal blushes and the flower beauty blushes they're just so 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 pretty I just cannot get over it uh if I could say like skip on something I would say skip on the Lottie London highlight wands I don't think that they're anything special uh for ten dollars a piece I think that you can do better uh for more affordable prices so there's that uh but all in all guys again really great great uh weeks worth of makeup new makeup Monday was a resounding success guys as always no filters no edits no fancy lighting it's just me sitting in front of my camera playing with some new makeup hoping that you guys are enjoying what i'm doing and until next time stay safe take care of yourselves and remember you're important bye